I, I've been working on this impression, so All I wanted. Right. Now that I have the look, I want to do, want to do well, it for well, you. Hit me up. There's one lawyer in Atlanta who thinks that he should get four hundred thousand dollars every time he opens a can of worms. Do you think that's good? I don't know. I asked him whether he thinks it's fair that he's taking your money. <laughs> Give me a break. <laughs> Give me a break. How should I get this guy to get his word out? How should he get his word out? <laughs> should he go to Blogspot? Should he go to WordPress? I don't know. Maybe he should go to Squarespace.com. Squarespace.com, after all, is the all-in-one hosting and publishing solution that never goes down. In fact, you can get a Squarespace site right now, right on the internet, as you listen. And you can get a great deal if you use offer code NAP. A lot of people think it stands for Night Attack Podcast. But in my mind, it stands for take a dirt nap, you dirty motherfucker. I'm John Stossel for Squarespace.com. Some people think the government's going to get the word out. I don't see them doing so. Their bureaucracy doesn't seem to work for anything. A lot of people think that, hey, if I get on dig.com because I got into a fucking time machine and that's still a thing that takes down websites that maybe I'll have a site that isn't there when people come to see it God, is it really a Hulk Hogan t-shirt I mean sure it has Hulk Hogan on it it is a t-shirt that covers his upper torso but when you look a little deeper you realize yeah maybe it is <laughs> John Stossel. My co-host Barbara Walters would never wear a Hulk Hogan 9-11 t-shirt. <laughs> she hasn't hosted, she hasn't hosted anything in 10 years. She might wear a tasteful blouse. One with a nice little frill, possibly. <laughs> if she were walking down the street, people would say, hey, Barbara, why are you wearing that shirt? John, uh, look, I understand that you don't want the government to make a website. I understand that you're not in support of uh, big finance. Um, a lot of people think maybe President Obama can make them a website. They say, hey, Obama, I would like to make a website plugging Sinister 2 out in theaters this weekend. Right, but what would be the best way to do that? Go to squarespace.com. <laughs> Did you guys think I couldn't fucking hear you that whole time? <laughs> it's like, it's a super easy impression to do. I mean, all you do is all you have to do <laughs> is you have to ask a question and then answer your own question. And then say someone who couldn't answer that question and ask why what? And then say, I'm John Stossel. Wow, again, yeah. When yeah. was I a respectable journalist? <laughs> it, was, was it, it in the 80s? Was it, was it in the 90s? Was it My co-host Barbara these... Walters says I'm still a respectable journalist. <laughs> I don't really care about my Emmys. <laughs> I can give one away to someone in this audience. <laughs> who can do a jumping jack? Oh, you did a jumping jack. Here's an Emmy. Are you a rap aware? legend? That you're in the presence of a rap legend? Was I was it the 80s? Was it the 90s? Uh, I thought that everyone should be free to rap whatever they want. But the government says no. <laughs> <laughs> Along with my co-host, Barbara Walters. Uh, the, I might uh, be angry about allergies. <laughs> the, uh, I might be upset if my children were to have some. But... I wouldn't have the courage to write rap lyrics about it. You ever notice how thetans invade your body? <laughs> what I want to know. <laughs> That's John Stossel. Have you ever noticed that the bridge to total freedom is pretty long? What's it made of? <laughs> Maybe it's wood. Maybe it's iron. <laughs> I used to think that maybe I couldn't pr cross the bridge. Maybe but then that, I got maybe clear. Maybe that article you're looking for is gone now. Dude, I think when it's the I was legal. only OT go. level From three, I thought I'd never make it clear. Here's an A lot of people say that all they need is more time. <laughs> the government says time is something that's infinite. But is it? Apparently the president thinks so. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but Hail Stossel. Some people on think the television. Some Rock, people think Rock it doesn't Swift matter to know that he's a really good guy. I asked California Carl 
Just what's so great about John Stossel? What's so great about socialism? You're giving <laughs> presents away for free? Someone's got to pay for it. Is it going to be you or me? After all, I love presents. I'm sure you do too. Walk up to any five-year-old and ask him, do you want a present? He'll say, sure. I asked the present maker in chief, Mr. Santa Claus, what he thought about socialism. Barack Obama says that presents are great, but are they great when you're paying for them? I'm John Stossel. Barack Obama says, I love to drink Manischewitz and fall down on the floor. Is that a way to run a country? I recently got addicted to heroin. That has nothing to do with the story, but yet I'm telling it. <laughs> One day I'd like to become a helicopter and fly all over the country. Do you? But that's safe. Is that a great thing for me, John Stossel, <laughs> Emmy-winning reporter, to do? I asked the helicopter. <laughs> Am I the only reporter that remembers the movie Kroll? The point was that love is powerful and power is fleeting. <laughs> a lot of people say, John, you're the illest gangster ever alive. <laughs> <laughs> but is that real? Should I be dropping these hot freestyle rhymes on sucker MCs around the country? I asked Ice-T for his opinion. <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm dropping it right there. <laughs> That's amazing. All right, we do have audio only for the movie draft minute. My I... name is John Stossel, and I'm here to say I dropped the truth about the president in a major way. <laughs> I think uh, people say we did a good job. Maybe we returned the spirit of BB Live Show to the night attack broke. Some people what, think... Is it really there? Some people say that the BB Live Show never left. It happens in every failure. And there's no shortage of those, is there? Barack Obama seems to think that the BB Live Show is just infinite. And you can give it away forever. I talked to magician James Randi, who told me he'd give a million dollars if someone could prove that the BV Live show's not a real thing. Die in a fire! We'll see you next Tuesday. I'm John Stossel. <laughs>